Did you know these 10 lesser known facts about Corvettes? Let's dive into the world of this iconic American sports car. The Corvette, a name that reverberates through the annals of automotive history, synonymous with power, performance, and an all-American spirit. This is more than just a car. It's a symbol of the American dream, a testament to the pursuit of speed and an embodiment of freedom on the open road. Born in the post-war era, the Corvette emerged as a beacon of optimism, a symbol of America's technological prowess, and a statement of its indomitable spirit. But this beloved icon has a story that goes deeper than its shiny exterior and rumbling engine might suggest. This is a story that begins with a secret project, codenamed Project Opal, a name far removed from the one we know and love today. It's a tale of humble beginnings in a small facility in Flint, Michigan, where the first production Corvettes were lovingly assembled by hand, all dressed in polo white with radiant red interiors. As we journey through this story, you'll discover the revolutionary nature of the Corvette's fiberglass body, a bold departure from the steel norm of its time. We'll delve into the origins of its name, a moniker almost usurped by the title Corvair, and the significance of its iconic crossed flags emblem, a symbol of performance since 1953. We'll explore the Corvette's initial offerings, like the two-speed automatic transmission, a testament to Chevrolet's belief in the future of automatics, and its first-ever engine, the Blue Flame Inline-6, a beast born for trucks and tamed for the Corvette. And as we travel through time, we'll witness the Corvette's influences, its victories, and even its brief hiatus, each moment adding another layer to the legacy of this incredible machine. So buckle up, because we're about to embark on a thrilling ride through the secret history of the Corvette, a journey that will take us from its inception to its undeniable impact on the automotive world and beyond. Stick around as we uncover the secret history of the Corvette. Our journey begins with the Corvette's inception, where it all started as a secret project named Project Opal. This clandestine operation was the brainchild of Chevrolet, who sought to create a vehicle that would revolutionize the automotive world. And boy, did they succeed. The initial design of the Corvette was a far cry from the sleek, muscular vehicle we know today. The first production Corvettes were all polo white with red interiors, a classic combination that exudes a certain timeless charm. These first models were assembled by hand in a small facility in Flint, Michigan, a testament to the meticulous craftsmanship that went into creating this iconic vehicle. And what's in a name? Well, for the Corvette, its name is a nod to its speed and agility. Originally, Chevrolet toyed with the idea of naming their new creation the Corvair. However, they ultimately decided on the name Corvette, an appellation associated with swift, agile warships. This choice of name was a foreshadowing of the Corvette's legendary performance capabilities that would soon take the world by storm. The Corvette's initial engine, aptly named the Blue Flame Inline-6, was a powertrain originally developed for Chevrolet trucks. The engineers at Chevrolet modified it for use in the Corvette, showcasing their innovative spirit and commitment to performance. The Corvette's fiberglass body was another innovative aspect of its design. At a time when most cars were made of steel, the Corvette dared to be different. This revolutionary feature set the Corvette apart from its contemporaries and paved the way for its future as a beloved sports car. From a secret project to a beloved sports car, the Corvette's journey was just beginning. With its unique design, innovative features, and powerful performance, the Corvette was poised to become an icon in the automotive world. And as we'll see in the next scenes, the Corvette indeed lived up to and even surpassed these early expectations. The Corvette didn't just become iconic by chance, it was the result of revolutionary Omorishiri design choices and influences. Let's dive into some of the trailblazing features that set the Corvette apart. First off, the Corvette's fiberglass body. At the time of its introduction, this was nothing short of revolutionary. 
While most cars were constructed from steel, Chevrolet decided to take a risk, a leap into the future. The Corvette's fiberglass body was not only lighter than traditional steel, but it also allowed for more flexibility in design, um, paving the way for the sleek aerodynamic look we associate with sports cars today. This was a game changer in the automotive industry, setting the Corvette apart from the crowd. Next, let's talk about the Corvette's initial transmission. When the Corvette was first introduced, it was only available with a two-speed automatic transmission, dubbed the Power Glide. Now, this might seem like a step back for a sports car, but Chevrolet had a vision. They believed that most buyers would prefer the ease and convenience of an automatic, and they were right. The Power Glide was a hit, and it played a significant role in shaping the future of automatic transmissions. Finally, we can't discuss the Corvette without mentioning the influences that shaped its design. The Corvette's aesthetic was heavily inspired by European sports cars of the time, particularly the Jaguar XK120 and the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. These influences are evident in the Corvette's sleek lines and aggressive stance, which ooze speed and power. The Corvette was not just an American car. It was a global icon, a melding of influences from across the world. So, whether it was the innovative use of fiberglass, the pioneering Powerglide transmission, or the blending of global design influences, the Corvette was always ahead of the curve. It was a car that dared to be different, to push boundaries, and to set new trends. The Corvette was a pioneer in many ways, setting trends in the automotive world. While the Corvette was impressing on the road, it was also making a name for itself on the racetrack. The Corvette's prowess wasn't confined to the city streets or the open highways. It was on the racing circuit where this beauty truly came alive. Now let's travel back to the year 1956. The location, Sebring, Florida. The event, the renowned 12 Hours of Sebring Endurance Race. This race is known for being a grueling test of both man and machine, where only the best of the best can hope to emerge victorious. This was the stage for the Corvette's first ever racing victory. It was a moment that would forever etch the Corvette's name in the annals of racing history. Imagine the roar of the engines, the smell of burning rubber, the adrenaline pumping through the veins of the drivers, and amidst it all, the Corvette, a symbol of American engineering, racing towards the finish line. The Corvette didn't just participate in the race, it dominated. It went from being an underdog to a champion, winning its class and proving that it wasn't just a pretty face. This victory wasn't just a win for the Corvette, it was a win for American automotive design and innovation. The Corvette's triumph at Sebring wasn't a one-off event. It served as the catalyst that propelled the Corvette into the world of professional racing. It was the start of a legacy that would see the Corvette become one of the most successful cars in American racing history. A legacy that continues to this day. This victory also served to cement the Corvette's status as a true performance vehicle. It wasn't just a car, it was a race car, a symbol of speed, power, and endurance. This was a car that could hold its own against the best in the world and come out on top. The Corvette proved its worth on the track, further solidifying its place in automotive history. This was no longer just a car, it was a legend, a testament to the power of American ingenuity and the spirit of competition. Even the best have their off days, and the Corvette was no exception. There's an interesting story from 1983, a year that stands out in the Corvette's history. Not for a new model launch or a race one, but for a conspicuous absence. Yes, that's right. The year 1983 is famously known among Corvette enthusiasts as the year without a Corvette. Production was halted and not a single Corvette was commercially manufactured. The reason? Quality issues and a major redesign for the upcoming C4 generation. Chevrolet wanted to ensure that their next model was nothing short of perfect. They needed time to iron out the kinks and reevaluate their design. It was a risky move, and many wondered if the Corvette would ever return. 
But in 1984, the Corvette came roaring back into the scene with the C4, a model that would go on to define the Corvette's look and performance for the next decade. Now, let's talk about the Corvette's lasting legacy. Over seven decades, the Corvette has etched its place in automotive history. From its revolutionary fiberglass body in the 50s to the cutting-edge mid-engine design of today's C8, the Corvette has always been a testament to American ingenuity. The Corvette's legacy isn't just about its impressive specs or its iconic design. It's about a commitment to pushing the boundaries of what's possible. It's about a passion for performance, a dedication to design, and an unwavering belief in the power of innovation. Whether it's winning on the racetrack, turning heads on the street, or inspiring the next generation of car enthusiasts, the Corvette continues to leave its mark. And with each new model, each new innovation, the Corvette continues to redefine what it means to be an American sports car. From its humble beginnings to its enduring legacy, the Corvette is truly a testament to American ingenuity and passion for performance.